This is a small bee farm owned by farmer Samuel Kuku in Kamaliki outside of Goroka. This year during the honey season he made 7,000 kina selling honey for 21 kina per kilo. It's a lucrative industry that gets very little funding support from the government. I'm something to say that normally we have this law December, January, and to plan the M, we plan this law. On top of the challenges they face, the industry has had to contend with a parasitic pest that is decimating the bee population. Anti-parasitic chemicals needed to keep the bee population intact and healthy is driving up the cost for farmers. And that's when I'm costing money, lo buy them all, all, all uh, chemical, lo treat them this la. Na, lo now yet em lo one pla one pla lig lig uh, strip em costing me pla six kina, and that's very ex expensive. Agriculture officers in the Eastern Highlands operate with very little funding. Their expertise is shared with several hundred farmers using very limited resources for extension work. Tela Loye from the Provincial Agriculture Office says farmers need a lot of help to counter pests affecting honey production and to open up international export markets. Before we play with the varomite, and then in 2009, we had a mite can, we had a tropical labs, they are very small, but they move very fast. Also, we have a work to contain this lab by treating all this lab, all the mite, one time marasin. Na time after me plant treating pinis long and all bees only work look am good and healthy na establish this like in condition where only can you gonna carry them they can. Local honey processors like Stephen Rere are trying to fill in the gaps by buying honey from local producers. Rere is paying 16 kina per kilo, a good price for local farmers, but he says. He can't keep up with the demands from supermarkets outside of Goroka. Uh, honey industry and one uh, cottage industry where any member of the society can participate and one uh, very, very important uh, industry where M can bring him awesome income come down low, awesome lowest level, uh, awesome online no got survey, online no got uh, experience low work or one. All can participate in the While the farmers are passionate about bee farming, the lack of support coupled with the recent attack by pests and diseases have been discouraging. Stakeholders say high-level intervention could save and rehabilitate the industry whilst cutting cost. Scott Whitey, National MTV News, Groga.